like a car. Let's say this is a market. Let's say the liver is like, let's say the small intestine is a market. Then the liver is like a, it's like a company. So, so, so all the raw materials needed, let's say all the raw materials, the trees, the food stuff, and we bought it from the store, from the market. Then you go to the company where they will convert those raw materials to goods. So the liver is going out process those things that was taken from the small intestine. Uh, so it will, it will process it. Then once it get to the small intestine, to the, to the liver, then it will leave the liver. Then from there it goes up to the heart. Then from the heart goes to the lung for oxygen, return back to the heart, then go back to all part of the body so that every part of the body can get the nutrients. So now as it enter the blood vessels, so it as it enter the blood vessels, it stores and leave the rest inside the blood. So let's take glucose as an example. After you take carbohydrate, carbohydrate, carbohydrate will be changed to glucose. So this glucose can be stored inside the muscle. This is a muscle up here. You can store glucose inside the muscle as glycogen. As glycogen. So and when needed, glucagon can be will be released to convert the glycogen back to glucose so we know that's another thing for another thing so it is stored in the liver glucose is stored in the liver as glycogen while the remaining one will be in the bloodstream so those glucose and the bloodstreams as an example will now enter this cell here as you can see here 